hakika and if you were not sure kama wewe ni msafiri that you a traveler nataka nikwambie usiondoke mikoa milangoni mle au ule kule don't don't get out of this place kabla hujafanya uamuzi because be, before making some decision kabla hujawa na uhakika before having assurance kwamba uko kwenye safari ya kwenda mbinguni that you are in the journey to heaven hallelujah hallelujah kwa sababu kuna 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 viashiria because there are some kuna sifa za waendao mbinguni there are some there are some characters nataka ufanye assessment so just make assessment yeah ninakwenda mbinguni am i going to heaven au mimi ni msindikizaji all am i just a scholar But this morning I want to welcome you so that we may go to hallelujah, heaven together. Hallelujah 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 Sa, Saba kitu cha kwanza kabisa The first thing msafiri yoyote any traveler anatambua destination knows hatima Hallelujah yani kule anaenda He knows Uwezi ukatuambia unafanya safari You cannot tell me that you're making a journey. Alafu huna unakoenda. And you don't know where you are you heading are to. You're just going around the place. Utakuwa tu unazunguka same flat. Utapoteza muda. And you waste time. You have to know the destination. Lazima ujue. Hallelujah. Hatima. Alafu ukijua ile hatima kule unakoenda. And when you go where you're going? Ndipo yanafuata mambo hivi naendaje? And then you can know how are you going. Natakiwa kubeba nini kwa safari ninayoendea? Why should I carry on this journey? Wangapi wamewahi kusafiri? How many have traveled before? Wengi wetu tumesafiri, si ndio eh? So many Hallelujah. Did that. Lakini unapofanya safari kitu cha kwanza lazima unajua ninaelekea Tabora. The first thing you must know is you are going to Tabora Mwanza. Ninaenda Dar es Salaam. Maybe Dar es Salaam. Kwa sababu ile destination yako ndio inayoamua haya mambo mengine ya maandalizi ya safari. Because your destination determines and all other factors lakini pia ukijua kwamba safari hii ni ya muda gani and if you know how long will this journey take na ukitambua ni nini kinakupeleka kule unakoenda and if you know the purpose of your journey inakusaidia pia katika maandalizi it help you in preparation kwa mfano for instance mfanya biashara anaenda kuchukua mzigo dar es salaam leo asubuhi a businessman who is taking na ana mpango wa kurudi leo jioni who is taking a lot from dar es salaam and come back this evening hawezi kubeba suitcase na nguo za ziada na viatu vya ziada kwa sababu anajua anaenda siku moja narudi si ndio eh he cannot have a case with a lot Hallelujah. of hallelujah lakini msafiri ambaye anajua mimi naenda kijijini kwa bibi machame but the one who knows i'm going to machame to my Ninaenda grandparents kwa wiki mbili Maybe for two weeks. Anajua afungashe nini na nini. Knows what to carry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo muhimu kabisa kwanza kabisa to define your destination. So the first thing is to know how to get there. Na ninataka ujue kwamba je, mbinguni wewe humo unaenda ama unasindikiza. That's why I want you to know if you are going to heaven or you just escape. Ngoja nikwambie kidogo kuhusu destination yetu. Let me tell you a little bit about our destination. Najua ujumbe na kwenda kuhubiri sio popular sana squeeze. Maybe this message is not popular eh, sio sio maneno ambayo tuna wachungaji watumishi wa ubiri tunahubiri sana squeeze is not the message that is preached by many preachers na, na madhara yake tunayaona and the and the, the effect side effect kwa sababu wa kristo wanajisahau because the christians forget tunasahau kwamba tuko safarini they forget that they are in the journey kuna watu wanaishi ezifu hapa ndio wameshafika there are some people who lives like this is our destination wanaanza hapa ndio nishafika They think maybe in Lakini the world is our destination. Kama huu, anapokulileta, anapokulileta so when God brings this kind of message. He wants to remind us. Tuko that we are all in the journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwetu. That this is not our home. Tuko safarini kuna mahali tunakwenda. We are in the travel and there is the place that we are going to. Dada Abigail nitaomba uwe msomaji wangu. Please Uh, Naomba pewe microphone pale. You can read the Bible. Let me tell you a little us. bit about our destination. Hebu nikwambie kidogo kuhusu hatima yetu. Na ha, na neno hili linaweza likamtia moyo mtu mmoja. And this word may encourage somebody. Yamkini hujawahi kusoma kule tunaenda. Maybe you didn't know where we are going to. Na ndio maana umepoteza mwelekeo unaishi ovyo ovyo tu. That's why you lost the direction. Kwa sababu huko mbinguni tunakoenda ukujui kukoje. Because you don't know the place that we are going to. Kwa sababu ukijua thamani ya kule unakokwenda kuna mambo utafanya wewe. Because if you could know the the price or the, the value of the place. Kwa sababu hayo mambo yatakukosti kutokufika unakokwenda. There are some things you will want to do because they will cost you. Kwa muhimu tukumbushane. So it's so important for us to remind each other. Mwambie jirani yako ndugu msafiri mwenzangu. Tell your neighbor my fellow traveler. Leo tunakumbushana. Today we are reminding each other. Habari ya safari. 
concerning the Revelation 21 Revelation Mungu akubariki mkalimani wangu Be blessed Pigieni makofi jamani Put your hands together Hallelujah Anafanya vizuri Amen Ufunuo 21 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza Mhm Kisha nikaona mbingu mpya na nchi mpya Mhm kwa maana mbingu za kwanza na nchi ya kwanza zimekwisha kupita mm-hmm. wala hapana bahari tena mm-hmm. nami nikauona mji ule mtakatifu mm-hmm. Yerusalemu mpya mm-hmm. ukishuka kutoka mbinguni kwa Mungu mm-hmm. umewekwa tayari kama bibi harusi aliyekwisha mm-hmm. kupambwa kwa mumewe mm-hmm. nikasikia sauti kubwa kutoka katika kile kiti cha enzi ikisema kikis, mm-hmm tazama maskani ya Mungu ni pamoja na wanadamu haleluya naye atafanya maskani yake pamoja nao mm-hmm. nao watakuwa watu wake mm-hmm. naye Mungu mwenyewe atakuwa pamoja nao mm-hmm. naye atafuta kila chozi katika macho yao mm-hmm. wala mauti haitakuwapo tena mhm mhm maiki yake wala maombolezo wala kilio imerudi wala maumivu mm-hmm. hayata kuwapo tena mm-hmm. kwa kuwa mambo ya kwanza yamekwisha kupita wapiga vyombo naomba mrudi kwenye vyombo vyenu na kuna mahali fulani nataka mnisaidie mm-hmm. na yeye aketia kile kiti cha enzi mm-hmm. akasema mm-hmm. tazama na yafanya mambo yote kuwa mapya mm-hmm. akaniambia mm-hmm. andika ya kwamba maneno hayo ni amini na kweli mm-hmm. Akaniambia mm-hmm. imekwisha kuwa mm-hmm. mimi ni alfa na omega mm-hmm. mwanzo na mwisho mm-hmm. mimi nitampa yeye mwenye kiu mm-hmm. ya chemchemi ya maji ya uzima bure mm-hmm. yeye ashindaye atayarithi haya mm-hmm. nami nitakuwa Mungu wake mm-hmm. naye atakuwa mwanangu haleluya sikiliza vizuri sikiliza vizuri mstari wa nane bali bali waoga waoga na wasioamini na wasioamini na wachukizao na wauaji na wauaji na wazinzi na wazinzi na wachawi na wachawi na hao waabudu sanamu na hao waabudu sanamu na waongo wote na waongo wote sehemu yao ni katika lile ziwa liwakalo moto na kiberiti hii ndio mauti ya pili hello hello mungu wa tayafuta Machozi na hasara hapo mia kaita koma hapana usii hawajafika wale wenzangu eh Mungu aimba basi tayafuta machozi na hasara Apo mia kaita koma hapana usiku haleluya haleluya that is our destination hiyo ndio hatima yetu haleluya haleluya wangapi umewahi kupata hasara how many have got some losses before kuna mtu hajawahi kupata hasara Is anybody who didn't get lost? Nani hajapata hasara yoyote yani hujawahi kupata hasara yoyote yani hata hujawahi kuunguza maharage. Even burning some. Hujawahi kuunguza kuku. Watu wanasemaga watu waunguzagi kuku wanaunguza maharage. People cannot burn chicken. Hallelujah. Beans. Jamani hujawahi kupata hasara hujawahi hata kulima mchicha ukawa hujaota umepanda mpunga alafu sijui ndege wakala jimvua ijanyesha kuna mtu hajawahi kupata hasara umenunua kitu ikapotea umemnunulia mtoto kalamu akaenda kompasi siku ya kwanza akaliacha huko kwa shule school facilities for children and they lost hujawahi kuna mtu kweli hajawahi kupata hasara there is anybody didn't get any kind of loss can i see that kind of person kuna mtu kweli kabisa hujawahi kupata hasara can i see such kind of person hujawahi kupata hasara Umewahi? Hujawahi? Yoyote. Eh, ongera ile bibi tuambie unaishi dunia gani? Haleluya. <laughs> Maana kama ni dunia hii ambao sisi tunaishi. In this world. Ah, my friend. Same world. As, eh? Ah. eh. Ushawe kupata. Sasa inasema oh, tunasema hapa Mungu atafuta machozi. 
So yeah, God will, will, will wipe our tears. How many have cried before? Even in sacred places. But the good news is that God will wipe all the tears and all the losses. When the ages will come to the end, there is no night. There is no night. Hallelujah. As you continue to read, you'll see how beautiful the scene is. It has different precious miles. They just look like, but they're not exactly. Because you can lack the words to explain. Praise the Lord that, that city does not need oh, light because God himself is the light hallelujah. I desire oh, to be there. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Even if I won't touch God here, here, when I will enter to that city, thahabu, hallelujah. I will step upon the gold. And that's why I want to remind you, don't be sad because you lack God. Don't be sad because you lack anything else. Maybe Ruby. Just make sure Hallelujah. you strengthen yourself to heaven. Because we step upon the streets of God. There is no loss and crying anymore. Oh, I'm waiting so much. Praise Lakini, the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says in the verse 8, it says, fearful and unbelieving and abominable. The fearful. The fearful. The, fearful. the Bible says, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. 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 When you are afraid, you are not born of God. In God, there is no fear. No matter what you are going through, there is no fear. Because of his word, he says don't be afraid. Even the environment is so scary. Don't be afraid. And because he said so, just believe God. Among the people will be in hell. It says unbelieving. Unbelieving. Do you believe God? Do you believe his word? Do you really believe the word of God? If we believe in the word of God, we'll not walk in doubt. Hatutakuwa majivu. Anxious, anxious, woga, wofu. Hatutakuwa na hofu. Kama alivu ubiri mchungaji ituli wali ukupo jumapino pita mchungaji yangu mbuki ali ubiri le neno. The last week we had the same word. Kwa mba Petro aliposikia neno la Yesu la njo. When Peter heard the word of Jesus come. Kwa li le neno akaanza kumfata Yesu. By that word he started to follow Jesus. Lakini alipoona dhoruba biyele sima akaona shaka. When he saw the uh, when he was doubt of Jesus, he doubted the word of Jesus, of which he walked first. Because the fearful and unbelieving, their place in that uh, fired lake. So I would like to give you a short introduction. So that you make, make decision. Is that the place you want to be? Or you are just here. Hallelujah. The last Sunday I preached. 
I spoke about do not sleep. Na magugu na ngano. Wangapi walikuwepo? And we learned about weeds and wet. Jinsi ambavyo magugu yanaweza yakafanana na ngano mpaka ukazani ndio ngano. And how weeds looks like uh, wet. Jinsi ambavyo mpunga pori unaweza ukafanana na mpunga mpaka ukazani ndio wenyewe. Even the wood rice may look Na like the real rice. La Mungu. And that's how in the church of the Lord. Maybe you look like a good Christian. But you are weird and you are weird rice. So today we are talking about Ili the journey to ufanya assessment ujia, ujitathmini. So that you may make assessment to your kweli, own. Nina mbinguni, ama nina zingua. And asking yourself, am I going to heaven or am I just joking? Kanisani. Or I'm just mockering the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unajua, nataka kukungevi kidogo kwa mifano kama Yesu. I want to speak in parables like Jesus so that you may understand. Nimesema kitu cha kwanza mtu anaposafiri, anaamua, anajua, anaenda wapi. The first thing, when a person is traveling, decide the destination. Lakini kitu cha pili, ukisha jua destination, unaenda wapi, lazima ujua ni naenda je kule. Then you should know how will you go there. Na pia kingine lazima ujue huko unakoenda kuna masharti gani au kuna utaratibu gani au unatakiwa kujiandaaje kwa habari ya safari. And you should know the principles of the places you are going to. Kwa wale ambao wamewahi kusafiri nje ya nchi. For those who have been traveling outside the country. Nadhani kwa kwa Tanzania karibu nchi zote nje ya Tanzania chini hapa East Africa lakini nchi nyingine zozote huko Ulaya Asia wapi wapi. Another broad countries. Kuna kitu kinaitwa visa. There is something known as visa. Visa ni permission to enter. Ni kibali cha kuingia katika ile nchi ya kigeni. It is the permission to enter in the foreign country. Kwa hiyo nchi nyingi huwezi kuingia bila kibali cha kuingia so kwenye nchi hiyo. Many countries you cannot enter without visa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na kwa sababu hiyo mtu yoyote ambaye ana akili timamu and for that reason for any uh, Unae, mindful person safari ya kwenda nchi za, za watu uko abroad if you plan the journey to go to abroad unaangalia requirements kwamba wanataka nini na nini kama visa ni kigezo kimoja wapo basi unaenda ubalozini kwao unapata visa you have to adhere their, uh, their their principles and if visa is one among them you you must make sure that you have it. hallelujah kwa habari ya kwenda mbinguni so concerning the news to visa go to heaven ya What is the visa to go to heaven? Ni alama ya damu ya Yesu. Is the blood of Jesus. Ni kuoshwa kwa damu ya Yesu. Is to be cleansed of the blood of Jesus. Hakuna kona kona mpendwa. There is no corner. Hakuna shortcut hakuna njia nyingine. There is no shortcut all another way. Ukisoma kitabu cha ufunuo kinasema hao wote ambao hawakuonekana wametiwa alama ya damu ya mwana kondoo. In the revelation it says for those who Wali had known that mark of the blood of Jesus, they were they, they were thrown to the fire lake. So the mark of the umekubali kifo cha Yesu msalabani. That mark means that you have accepted the death of Jesus on the cross. It was for the removal of your sins. Na kwamba wewe ni mwenye dhambi na lazima ukubali kuoshwa na damu ya Yesu. That you were a sinner and you must accept to be cleaned by the blood. Hiyo visa ya kwenda mbinguni. And that is the visa to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nione watu walioshwa kwa damu ya Yesu wako kwa hiyo. Those who are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuoshwa. Kuoshwa to be cleansed. Wadamu. By the blood. Ituta. Kasayo. Ya kondo. Ziwe safi. Ziwe safi. Nguonye upe. Mno. Umeoshwa. Kwa damu ya kondo. Muulize jirani yako. Are you washed? Just ask your neighbor, umeoshwa? Muulize muangalia usoni, umeoshwa? Just behold his face, are you crazy? Mpendo unayo visa. Do you have visa? Ya kuingia mbinguni. To enter into that country of heaven. Ana mashaka wana wakika. Is he confident or not? Yani nataka ni kuambia ukiwa una visa wewe. If you don't have visa. Alafu kwanza airport utoki. Even in airport you cannot go. Alafu hata ukifanya ya magumashi maana wa Tanzania everything is possible. If you forge because Tanzania ukafanya visa ya kimagumashi. If you do the forged visa, uka, ukaenda ukapita airport. And when you go to the airport. My friend ukifika John Kennedy airport. When you reach to that mansion, unarudi airport, na next flight back home. You will get back Kule home. Kule hakuna feki. There is no fake. Hallelujah. There. Nataka nikwambie mbinguni hakuna feki yo. In heaven there is no yani, fake. Hakuna fake visa. 
There is no visa Na wala hakuna kumuhonga malaika aliyekaa getini kwamba oh yeah. <laughs> the, the angels cannot be corrupted. Si uni, si ni tu hapa. Can I enter? Sema nikukatie kiasi kitu gani niingie? So what can I give you to Binguni make waipo, me enter? Binguni wa ipo my friend, ipo. There is no such a kind of thing. Visa unapata hapa. You get Hallelujah. visa here. Unaipata hapa. You can just get only eh, eh, here. Hapa madhabahuni kwa kumkiri Yesu. On this pulpit by accepting Jesus. Na sisi ndio mabalozi tunaotoa visa. And we are ambassadors we give that. Hallelujah. Visa. Hallelujah. Unajua wengine wanadhani na pamba kipindi. Some people think that. Neno linasema hivi. Joking. Mtakao ondolea dhambi. The Bible says the one that hey. will remove their sins. Ndio maana tunasemaga hapa jo tukuongoze sala ya toba. That's why we say come and let us lead you. ya kuondolea watu zambi wanaotubu kikweli kweli. We have given authority to remove sin for those. Na kuandika majina yao. Hallelujah. And writing their names. Kwa hiyo hakikisha unayo visa tena sio fake. Make sure you have original visa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Unajua nilikuwa nilikuwa naandaa ili somo nikawa natafakari. When I was preparing this sermon Wengi wetu hapa tumeshawahi kusafiri kwenda Dar es Salaam, si ndio eh? Na wengine tumeenda na yule anajiita King of the Road, si ndio eh? Abudi. Men of us went with Abudi. Naenda pale unakata tiket unaingia kwenye Abudi, si ndio eh? You you go there. Unaweza ukadhani uka, uka kwamba watu wote walioingia ndani ya Abudi imeandikwa Dar es Salaam, wote wanaenda Dar es Salaam, si ndio? You may think both of people who are there are going to Dar es Salaam. Lakini ghafla well. mkifika Charinze kuna abiria mmoja kateremka. When you get to Charinze someone drops down. Ghafla mnafika Mlandizi kuna mwingine anateremka. The other one in Mlandizi. Easy drop down. Lakini mlikuwa wote kwenye Abudi. But you were together e, in the same mnafika, bus. Eh mnafika mnafika kibasi mwa ile moja mwingine anateremka. Ni kibaha mwa ile moja. Eh wachache ndio wanafika pale Magufuli so bus terminal. Few of them they go to Magufuli bus terminal. Kuna temino. watu mko humu. So there's some people in this place. Niingia kwenye basi la Abudi la kwenda mbinguni. You entered in that bus. Lakini destination yenu sio Magufuli terminal. But your destination is, is not in Magufuli terminal. Mnateremkia njiani. You're just dropping on the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunaendelea tunasoma utajijua kwamba ulikuwemo ama ulikuwa unaanza kushuka blandis. You will know. Lakini ndio maana nilianza destination ili ufanye maamuzi destination. That's why I started with Hallelujah. So that you may be sure that. Hallelujah. Lakini pia unapokuwa unasafiri nilisema pale mwanzo. As I said earlier when you travel. Kama unasafiri siku moja unabeba una tu ka handbag kananika pochi kako unaenda unachukua mzigo kali yako unageuza. If it is a single day you can take a, a small bag with you lakini mwa sisi wa kina mama <laughs> but for women <laughs> wa baba wenye wake wanaelewa the, the fathers who are married knows this mwanamke akiwa nasafiri including me when a woman is traveling uondoke eti na nani na kapochi tu anarudi leo jioni atuendagi hivyo you, you cannot take only a pochi yani najua like kisa, leo do. jioni narudi you know La, that you're coming ta, back from swaki evening, but you are carrying tabeba shuka ya ziada Nitabeba kiatu cha ziada. Nitabeba gauni la ziada. After tunajiambiaga just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sasa ile safari yako destination yako kule unakoenda ina ina ina, ina determine ubebe nini safarini. So your destination determines what to carry with you. Na hiki ni cha muhimu kwetu kutambua. And this is important to Na know. Na ndani ya dakika chache utatambua kwa nini ni muhimu. So in few minutes you will know how important it is. Wangapi wameisha kufanya safari kwenda kijijini kule kwa kina bibi na kina babu? How many have just went far Ehe, journeys? Eh, wengi wetu tumewahi kwenda. Tukienda inategemea kule kijijini ni wapi, si ndio eh? So it depends on where Ehe, the, the kwa sababu kuna is. kuna wengine vijiji vyao ni mjini kwa mfano wachaga. Because some of some Lakini, of uh, sio wote kwamba unajua wachaga wenzetu wao wa wanajengaga kwao. Kwa hiyo unaenda kijijini na kwa mfano kijijini kila kuna magorofa, katikati ya you know, migomo unakutana na magorofa in, in, na nini. Cha, the chaga Sasa, tribe they have. Sio ni hali fulani ni tofauti. Bwana wabariki sana. Hallelujah. Lakini wengine vijijini kwetu vijijini kweli kweli, si ndio mchungaji wangu mweke? Sasa ukiwa unajua unaenda kwa bibi. So if you know you are going to your grandparents. Jamani tunabeba nini? What are we carrying? Sukari, sijui, uh, eh, eh, michele, sijui chumvi, rice, you know, na mama, una ukifika pale kamjini ka pale kabla ya kijijini unabeba na mafuta ya taa. And maybe eh, kerosene. Uwezo kutoka nayo morogoro lakini ukiwa ukikaribia when you are nearby kuna vitu unaongeza ongeza. Kwa nini kwa sababu unawaza ile destination kule unahitaji nini? You are thinking on that destination what? Walimu wa chuo kikuu mkiwa mnaenda field 
for, for those Labo, uh, unanda flani hivi. university facilitators, they know when they are going to a certain field. Si they carry Unaona, them drinking na water. Na kunyo, kwa sabu, kuna kuenda, kuna maji salama. Because you know where you are going, there is no Hallelujah. clean water. Hallelujah. Why are we doing this? Because we know what is required for us sana, in our journey. Dar es Salaam, I'll be amazed by you if you go to Dar es Salaam with three cartons of water. Sabuni, yani ya you have a lot of soaps. We'll, we'll Kwa be surprised by you. Because you know in Dar es Salaam there is a lot of such kind of stuff. So always the traveler thinks Hallelujah. and meditate on where Kuna his death is going. Nini. What should I carry? So that's how even to us as the travelers to heaven. We must know beyond the visa. What should I do else? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because there are some things if you carry them. They cannot, they are not permitted to Mfano, enter. Kule, kule ingine, For instance, if you get abroad, Mfano, Mfano for some countries, maybe UK, pale, 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 eh, airport. in airport. Imeandikwa vitu ambavyo prohibited kuna list ya vitu ambavyo viruhusiwi si ndio eh uruhusiwi eh, kuleta sui samaki uruhusiwi kuleta sui nini uruhusiwi kuleta hivi kwa sababu wanaamini yuko ulikotoka unaweza kutuletea magonjwa ya 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 samaki ya mimea na kadhalika wapendwa mbinguni ndivyo ilivyo that's how the heaven is kwa jinsi Mungu alivyo mtakatifu sana for how holy our god is Kwa jinsi alivyo yani katika ukuu wake na uweza na enzi na utakatifu Kuna vitu havingi There some stuff cannot enter there Hello. They are prohibited Hello. Kuna vitu havingi katika there, mji ule There some stuff are prohibited in that city Hapa imetaja baadhi ya watu ambao hawataingia Here there is a list of the people who will not Kwa nini kwa sababu they are prohibited Kwa sababu amezuiliwa. Kwa hiyo ukivibeba vile vitu. So if you carry those stuff. Nataka ni kuambie hauta ingia. I want to tell you you shall never enter. Kwa sababu vile vitu haviwe. They cannot coexist in the presence of God. Vile vitu haviwezi kukaa katika uwepo wa mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu hiyo you need to make up your mind. Because of that reason lazima ujiandae kiakili. Are you kiakili. going to heaven? Je unaenda mbinguni? Are you going to heaven? Je unaenda mbinguni? Au wewe ndo destination yako hapa? Au hatima yako is here? Wangapi wananielewa? How many understand me? Najua wengine leo mtasema amen. I know some of you cannot say amen today. Eh hey, amsemi amen. Yes, you cannot Wala say amen. Kusema, preach, preacher. You cannot say even ubiri ubiri ubiri. And if you are quiet I know the syringe is penetrating well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dozi zinaingia vizuri. Mtumishi wa Mungu soma wa Filipi 3 mstari wa 20. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. Wa Filipi 3 mstari wa 20. Kwa maana sisi Mm -hmm. Wenyeji wetu uko mbinguni. Wenyeji wetu uko wapi jamani? Mbinguni. Wenyeji wako uko wapi? Ehe, endelea. Kutoka huko tena mm -hmm. tunamtazamia mokozi bwana mm -hmm. bwana Yesu Kristo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Atakaye ubadili mwili wetu mm -hmm. wa mnyonge, mm -hmm. upate kufanana na mwili wake wa utukufu. Mm -hmm kwa uweza ule ambao mm -hmm. kwa huo aweza hata kuvitiisha vitu vyote viwe chini yake oh haleluya haleluya atatiisha vitu vyote mambo haya ya mwili ambayo yanatushughulisha kila siku ambayo pasipo kuwa uangalifu yanaweza kukukosesha wewe kuingia mbinguni if we will not be careful they will cause us not to yanaishia hapa ni ya dunia hii those things of the world kwa hiyo sisi ambao destination yetu ni mbinguni for us who our destination is in heaven mambo ya mwilini ni mbali kabisa the freshly things are away from us 
the things of the world. They should not be our priorities. When give, God will give you the grace to have enemies okay, but seeking them more than holiness. That is great loss. Praise the Lord Jesus. You. In our daily life, we, we must recognize. Repeat that verse. Mm -hmm. Kwa maana sisi mm -hmm. wenyeji wetu uko mbinguni mm -hmm. kutoka huko tena tunamtazamia mwokozi bwana Yesu. Wangapi wanamtazamia Yesu? How many are holding to Jesus? Kam kao kama unamtazamia Yesu. Just see the way that you are holding to him. Unalala ukijua unamtazamia Yesu anaweza kuja ukiwa usikizini. If you sleep you sleep as if you are beholding him. Unapokuwa ofisini unakaa mkao unamtazamia Yesu. When you are in the office you are sitting as beholding Jesus. Unapokuwa una sign deal la biashara sign ukiwa unamtazamia Yesu. When you are signing even the deal of your business. Hallelujah. Do as if you are beholding Jesus. Hallelujah. Ni rahisi sana. It's so easy. We are in this body that has the attachment with the things of the world. It's easy to forget that we are the spirit. And the spirit is eternal. And that is what we live. As we are preparing ourselves to travel, there's a place we are going. So this is the time of preparation in this place. Let's, let us prepare so that whatever we do, by word or by action, knowing that we are travelers, the, the other Bible says we are sojourners. Mana sojourner ni mtu ambaye ni temporary resident. Sojourners ni mtu ambaye anamakazi ya muda mfupi. Hallelujah. Kwa yu ka mkao kana kwamba unaka kwa muda mfupi. So stay as uh, sojourners. Maamuzi yako uwe kama mtu ambaye uko hapa ni mpitaji ni msafiri. Your decision, let it then be like you are traveler. Our residence in, is in heaven. That's where we came from and we'll be back to. How many understand what I'm hallelujah, talking hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Richie. I would like to speak a small thing. Because we are spirits. And we live in the flesh. What will get back to heaven is not this flesh. This flesh will go to, to the ground. Let, let us see there. 1 Corinthians 15. From 47. 15. Fifteen, verse forty-seven. 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 Na kama alivyo yeye wa mbinguni, mm -hmm. ndivyo walivyo wali wa mbinguni. Jemani alivyo wa mbinguni ni nani? Who is heavenly? Ni nani wa mbinguni? Who is heavenly? Mwaja tijia wasikia we tulia kwanza. Alivyo wa mbinguni ni nani? Ehe, ni Yesu. Yes, Anasema ndivyo walivyo wa, wa na, na uh, kama alivyo yeye wa mbinguni, ndivyo walivyo wali wa mbinguni, yani sisi ya pa? As the Ehe. way the heavenly is, Na kama are. tulivyo ichukua sura yake yule wa udongo. Kama tulivyo chukua sura yake ya udongo yule ya damu. Sindio hili dongo linaugua, linafanyaje, linachoka, ivo. Ehe. Kathalika tutachukua sura yake yeye alio wa mbingu. Hallelujah. The same way we'll take the face. sura ya buwana Yesu. We'll take the face of Lord Jesus. Ukiondeleo kusuma semgea na sema kumba sharti huu wa kuharibika uvae kuto kuharibika. In other place it says this, uh, this, Lazima this. Uh, this destroyable body will come to the ground. But your spirit will get back to heaven. Praise, the Lord, Praise the Lord Jesus. Wangapi wanajua kwamba mambo ya kwenda mbinguni ni mambo ya yani is the matter of the heart ni mambo ya rohoni ni mambo ya rohoni. How many knows the thing to go to heaven? Hallelujah. 
spiritual things. That's why the Bible says, for those who are fled, or earthly did not recognize the things of spirit. The spiritual things are the things that are permanent. And there are those that will go with them to our Father. And those are actions that will come before us, as the Revelation says. Just, just behold how we are suffering with these things of the world. Few, we Peter, few weeks ago, Queen Elizabeth of uh, UK died. Uh, there is a certain caption in WhatsApp. There is someone said, when the archbishop barring her vile vile yake ile crown ile taji yake na fimbo and the alikuwa na fimbo ya malkia and the robe uh, siyo na kitu gani kingine and all other stuff ambao vilikuwa vinaashiria kwamba yeye alikuwa ni royalty alikuwa ni malkia that showed that he was the she was the queen. I didn't watch those funeral services. Those staff were taking away from her. head of the Church of England. So, she was like a papa in the church of UK. Malkia wa Uingereza ama mfalme wa Uingereza ndio queen of the head of the church of England. So the whole church is under vikachukuliwa vikawekwa kwenye madhabahu. So those things were taken and put Alafu, to the altar. Alafu lile jeneza likashushwa kuonyesha kwamba anazikwa akiwa yeye kama Elizabeth sio tena queen tena sio fimbo sijui vitu gani vyote kabiacha. So she was buried as Elizabeth and not as Alafu, queen. Alafu akazikwa yeye kama Elizabeth. And she was buried as Yule Elizabeth. Yule mtu alikuwa ameelekea tafakari sijui watu wangapi waliona. And the person who wrote, wrote that Alikuwa anaongea jinsi ambavyo siku tunaondoka duniani tunaondoka kama tulivyokuja. He was talking on how we leave the Kuyo earth as we came. Kwa hiyo hizi title zetu, you know vyo vyetu na nafasi zetu unaitwa archbishop, unaitwa prophet, unaitwa pastor, unaitwa professor kama mamangu hapa. And whatever name that you have. Unaitwa daktari, sio kama mama yangu pale na na husband na nani daktar Kiula yuko hapa. And doctor is there. Hizo title zote. All those type of titles. Zinatambulikana duniani. They are known in, on this earth. Kule azipo. In heaven there is no such thing. Hallelujah. Title. Hallelujah. Na ndio maana hata hata na hiki nataka ufanye uamuzi ni kitu cha msingi naomba unisikilize kwa makini kwa roho yako. Please listen for me to me carefully with your spirit. Wakati tuna 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 mtu anazikwa. While a person is buried, hakuna mtu anaondokaga na gari yake. There is no one who goes with the car. Hello. Hello. Hakuna mtu anaondokaga na na nani na gorofa lake. No one goes with the building. Hakuna mtu anaondokaga na ofisi. Even with the office. Unaenda wewe kama wewe. You just I'll go alone. It means whatever is in your heart. And are the one who will make you stand before the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those in your soul, in the spirit, will make you stand and worthy. Why are we reminding each other? That in our sufferings, ya kujenga magorofa, ya kufanya biashara, ya kuona, kuona. Houses, marrying, doing titles, projects. They are so good. But if they will make you not entering that place, you are the one like those who are dropping hey, on wendy, the way, like Charinze. Be careful. Please be careful. Hallelujah. Yale maamuzi unayofanya kila siku. Just examine Haya mambo kwa sababu yale ndio yanaingia moyo. Yesu alisema iwekeeni hazina mbinguni. Jesus said put Mana your treasure in heaven. Rondo na kutu haviharibu. Because there, there is no yale destruction. Yale matendo mema unayoyafanya, matendo matendo ya utaua tulimejifunza Sunday school hapa. 
Yale ndio yataenda na wewe ku present mbele za Mungu. They are the one who will come with, with go with Sem you. Sema nyingine inasema matendo ya watakatifu ni manukato mbele za Bwana. The other part say those actions. Kwa hiyo katika yote unayoyafanya. Like before the Lord. Hakikisha ndani ya moyo wako. So whatever you're doing make sure in your heart. Ye hakikishe ndani ya moyo wako. Make sure that in your heart. Unafanya mambo ya kudumu. You are doing Biblia inasema things. inasema kwamba msiviangalie vitu viharibikavyo. The Bible says don't uh, behold Ivi the destructive vitu, things. Vitu vya mwilini vyote ni viharibika vyo vyote vinaharibika. things are destroyable. Magari yanaharibika. The cars are destroyable. Magorofa yanaharibika. The story house Na ndio maana nyumba yako usipoifanyia repair wewe ukiacha tu hapo umefunga. Even your house if you don't repair it. Utakuta imeharibika. Imeliwa na mchwa imeharibika. Haya yote yanaharibika. Biblia inasema tusiviangalie viharibikavyo. So we should not behold those Hallelujah. Nataka tusome neno moja alafu tuombe. Let's not read this word and then pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu alisema Jesus said Uh labda tu ilo andiko nilo liongea liko Korinto wa 2:14 linasema tusiviangalie vinavyoonekana bali sivyo visivyoonekana. Yes. Lakini Mathayo 15 nataka tusome hapo. Matthew chapter 15 I would like to read in that very uh, in that place. Matayo 15. Mhm. Mstari wa 17 mpaka 19. Mstari wa 17 mpaka 19. Mhm. Hamjafahamu bado ya kuwa kila kiingiacho kinywani hupita tumboni. Mhm. Kikatupwa chooni. Mhm. Bali vitokavyo kinywani mm-hmm. vyatoka moyoni. Mm-hmm. Navyo ndivyo vimtiavyo mtu unajis. Vinavyotoka moyoni ndivyo vinavyomtia mtu unajis. Eh. Kwa maana moyoni mm-hmm. utoka mawazo mabaya. Hayo hayo sasa hayo ndio yaliyoko moyoni hayo. Mm-hmm. Kind of Uwaji, uwaji, usinzi. Ngoja tutende pole pole. Uwaji Bibi inasema ukimuonea asira ndugu yako wewe ni muwaji. If you are angry of your neighbor you are killer. Ukimkasirikia ndugu yako unasema huyu si msamee umembeba moyo ni mwako wewe ni muwaji. If muwaji. you are angry against your 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 fellow and you you you, you are like a murderer. Tusamehe. Hallelujah. So it means you Kama tunataka kwenda mbinguni tusamehe. Endelea. If you go to heaven let us forgive. Mhm. Uzinzi. Mhm. Uasherati. Uzinzi uasherati Yesu alisema amtazamaye mwanamke Amekusha kuzina yani ukitazama tu ukatamani. The person who look after a woman. Imekula kwa. Wivi. Ehe, wivi. Ushuhuda wa uongo. Waongo jamani waongo jamani waongo waongo. And for sweet. Hata kule kwenye ufunuo aliwataja waongo. The the false Kwa hiyo kama umekaa hapo umeukumbatia uongo my friend uendi wewe. Ehe, na matukano. Matukano. Watu kuna watu wanatukana. Mhm. Hayo ndiyo ya mtiayo mtu unajisi. Hayo ndiyo yanayomtia mtu unajisi. Mm-hmm. Lakini kula kabla ya kunao mikono mm-hmm. hakumtii mtu unajisi. Mm-hmm. Niendele. Uh, niko pale. Okay, ishi hapo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Moyoni mwako umebeba nini? What have you carried in your heart? Moyoni mwako umebeba nini? In your heart, what do you have? Unajua eh, wana wa Israeli ule ile safari yao ya kutoka Misri The journey of Israelites from Nimfano wa safari yetu ya wokovu is like our journey of our Lakini nataka nikwambie japo waliokoka kule Misri waliweka alama ya damu ya Yesu ya mwana kondoo Though they had the mark of the blood of Jesus Wakaokoka in the sense kwamba wakatoka Misri utumwani They were saved and they get out of Lakini kuna neno moja la kutisha sana katika kumbukumbu nitaomba tusome na hilo mtumisho bwana But in the book of Deuteronomy Kumbukumbu uh, kumbukumbu la Torati liliandika wapi lile neno Kumbukumbu la Torati sura ya ngapi ile nadhani sura ya 8 sije ngoja niangalie Let me look maybe Hallelujah Inaongelea kwa habari ya kwamba Mungu aliwapitisha katika jangwa lile ili ajaribu aone mioyoni mwao kuna nini Hallelujah Habari ya moyo moyoni Bwana so, Yesu asifiwe Kumbe walipokuwa safarini walipokuwa safarini watu wa wasomu wa Biblia wanatuambia kwamba ile safari ilikuwa na safari ya ya, ya siku 11 the bible scholars say that it had Lak, to be the journey lakini walisafiri miaka 40 but they use fort here na Mungu anasema aliwapitisha jangwani ili aone kilichomo moyoni mwake And, and God made that journey to be long so that he may see what is, is in their heart what's Hallelujah. in their heart 
Haleluya. Niko wapi lile neno? Sijui niliandika wapi. Kwenye nadhani ni ni ni, ni kumbukumbu sura ya nane Asante. Naomba tusomee kuanzia pale. Kumbukumbu sura ya nane mstari mm-hmm. wa pili. Mm-hmm. Nawe utaikumbuka njia ile yote mm-hmm. bu- ya Mm-hmm. Nawe utaikumbuka njia ile yote mm-hmm. Bwana Mungu wako aliyokuongoza miaka hii arobaini katika jangwa mm-hmm. ili akutweze mm-hmm. kukujaribu kuyajua yaliyo moyoni mwako mm-hmm. kwamba utashika amri zake au sivyo Ehe, tuweke koma hapo Nataka nikwambie I want to tell you katika hii miaka ya safari tuliyopewa in the years sisi wote hapa ni wasafiri biblia inasema makazi yetu ni mbinguni the bible says our destination kwa miaka ambayo mungu amekupa iwe ni 30 40 60 70 au 96 kama yule malikia wa uingereza kumbe ni miaka ya kujaribiwa ili mungu ayaone yaliyoko moyoni mwako are the years to be examined so that you can see what is in your heart upitie katika safari yako hii Whatever God allows you Mana to go through this journey, wa safiri, because we are travelers, kipo kuona kilichoko moyoni mwako. To examine what is in your heart. Je, utazishika amri za Mungu? Will you hold the statutes of the Lord? Je, utasema no to sin? Je, utasema hapana kwa dhambi? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anatafuta aone moyoni mwako unastahili wewe kuingia ule mji tulio usoma. He is seeking to see if you you deserve to Katika eat and that. Kila city. hatua na kila jambo unalopitia kama in, msafiri. In every step and everything that you pass. Mungu anaujaribu moyo moyo is, moyo is moyo moyo. He is testing your heart, testing your heart. Kwa sababu kutoka moyoni ndiko tunajua huyu mtu yukoje. Because from the heart we know what kind of person you Siku are. Siku nimehubiri hapa kuhusu magugu. When I was preaching about weeds Nilisema hivi magugu tunayatambua pale mara nyingine mpaka ya kizaa ngano ya kizaa ndio ya Isaiah inagundua la kumbe ni gugu So sometimes we cannot recognize them at the earliest stages Kwa mara nyingine uwezi kujua uliyeka naye jirani ni gugu Sometimes you may never know what kind of person you are maybe it's a weed Akifanya vitu fulani au akisema vitu fulani Until he does or say something Matunda yale ndio unajua la kumbe ni gugu Na ukishatambua ni gugu And if you know ah, it's a word lisikusumbue. So let that not stop. Hallelujah. Anasema Hallelujah. Mungu anatujaribu aliwapitisha kuwajaribu mioyo yao. So God was intending to kukumbusha siku ya leo msafiri so mwenzangu. I'm reminding my fellow Katika mambo traveler, yote tunayokutana nayo maishani. In all things that we face in life. Mungu anaujaribu moyo wako. God is testing your heart. Kuna watu fulani, kuna mtu mmoja alisemaga There is a certain person said Mara nyingine huwezi ukajua mtu ni mkarimu, mtu ni mtoaji. You may not know that someone is a giver. Mtu ana yani ni mnyenyekevu. Is humble. Mpaka pale atakapopata pesa. Until he get money. Pesa ndio itamjulisha kwamba huyu character yake kwamba kweli alikuwa ni mnyenyekevu tu siku zote ama tu ni kwa sababu alikuwa hana. The man will show if he was humble or not. Ni mkarimu tu siku zote au ni kwa sababu alikuwa hana. He is the giver always or because he has no au kile cheo kitadhihirisha aliyoko moyoni mwake. Or even the status will Na ndio maana mtu ambaye ni mtoaji. That's why the giver habadiliki. Can never change. Awe ana vingi ana vichache. When he has a lot of less, he will Kwa sababu give. kutoa kuko moyoni mwake. Because giving is in the Na heart. akipata zaidi atatoa zaidi. And if he will have more he will give Kwa more. Kwa sababu ndivyo alivyo moyoni mwake. Because that's how he is Na in the heart. Na mtu mchoyo hata mamilioni ya pesa hatoi and the selfish even if he hatoi. will have millions of money will never give mtasema hapa watoto bora wana chakula we will speak uh, the, the excellent Tuna, children don't have chungaji hao atakuja hapa jamani hata mahindi maharage and next week we will announce again yeye juzi kavuna magunia 100 ya maharage but you will have a lot of beans hata leta gunia moja hata debe moja hapa but cannot bring even a single sock of beans Wangapi wananielewa? How many understand me? Hali ya moyo. Moyoni mwako, moyoni mwako umebeba nini? What have you carried in your moyo heart? Moyo wako, moyoni mwako Mungu akikuchunguza viuno vyako anakutana na nini? If God will examine you, what will Mungu he find? Mungu aliwapitisha wana wa Israeli angwani ajaribu mioyo yao. So God made Israelites pass through the wilderness. Mstari watatu wanasema akakutweza akakuacha uone njaa. In verse 3 says, "Nataka nikwambie njaa unayoipitia." 
Mungu anataka aone moyo wako. So the hunger you are going through God wants to see you. Anasema akawaacha waone njaa. So God made them to feel. Anasema anasema akakulisha kwa maana usiyojua wewe wala baba zako hawakujua. Apate kukujulisha ya kuwa mwanadamu hataishi kwa mkate tu. Bali uishi kwa kila litokalo kwa katika kinywa cha Bwana. Haleluya. Mungu anaweza akakuacha uone njaa, akaondoa kila kitu kwako. And remove everything Kwa sababu anataka kuona moyo wako. Because he want to see your heart. Na moyo wako ukiwa thabiti kwake. And if your heart is is steadfast, steadfast ana, analeta mana. He will bring mana. Analeta mana. He will bring mana. Just in time Mungu anaachilia mana. Kwa wakati God will bring mana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anasema mavazi yako hayakuchakaa wala mguu wako haukuvimba miaka hiyo 40. Nawe fikiri fikiri moyoni mwako ya kwamba kama vile baba amrudivyo mwanawe ndivyo bwana Mungu ndivyo bwana Mungu wako akurudivyo nawe uzishike amri za bwana Mungu wako upate kwenda katika njia zake na kumcha hallelujah 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 wapendwa hii ndio jumla ya mambo yote and this is the sum of all Ule, things mfano wa mpanzi unasema masumbufu ya maisha haya ndio ile mbegu ikazongwa zongwa the parable of that farmer says usiishi kama umefika that seed did not grow don't leave us if you are arrived Don't leave us if you are arrived kama duniani ndio destination yako don't make decision as if the world is your destination unless hayo ndio maamuzi yako Maybe if that is your Lakini decision. Lakini wewe kama maamuzi yako ni kwenda mbinguni. But if your decision is to Nataka nikwambie kuna vitu utaviacha. I want to tell you there are some kuna things you should stop. There are some things Na you want to do. Na kuna vitu utavifanya. There are some things you want. Tena utavifanya kwa bidii. And there are some things you will do Hallelujah. diligently. Vile Mungu anavileta mikono ni mwako. Those things that God has brought Siku in your hand. Siku naondoka my friend utatuachia magorofa yako utatuachia na magari yako utatuachia na magawana. You will leave everything behind you. Lakini yale ya moyoni ndio utaenda nayo. But the, those of your heart will Inesema go with. Inasema yale ya moyoni ndio ya kudumu. Those of the yale ya sionekana ndio ya kudumu. And seen things are permanent things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wangapi wamenielewa wana wa Mungu? How many understood me? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord Jesus. Usije ukawa una visa ile alafu ime expire njiani kama wana wa Israeli walivotoka Misri. You should have an expired visa. Eh maana visa waga zina expire, si ndio wale wanaosafiri kwenda abroad eh. Unaambiwa visa hii inakaa miezi sita, visa hii inakaa miaka miwili. They have specified period of time. Ukimuda wale ukipita basi usifa so imeondoka. That time it expires. Sasa damu ya Yesu waga i expire. But the blood of Jesus Lakini kitakachokifanya damu ya Yesu i expire kwako wewe binafsi. But what will make it expire on you? Ni yale mambo ambayo tunayapitia. Are those things that we we Yale masumbufu ya maisha. Those sufferings and afflictions. Ambayo tufanya tufanya kama watu wa dunia kama watu tu waliofika. Those made us to be like a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini ni maombi yangu leo. And this is my supplication. Kama ambavyo Bwana amekuja kutukumbusha. As how God has come to remind us. Fanya maamuzi mimi ni wa mbinguni. Just make a decision Kama that I am of heaven. Ulijisahau, If there is a place you forgot Kama yourself, kuna mambo ya kuacha yaache. If there is some things to leave, just leave them. rekebika. If there are some things to, to amend, just amend them. Kwa sababu una safari ya kwenda mbinguni. Because you have the journey to heaven. Tusimame watu wa Mungu, tusimame. Let us stand on our feet. Hallelujah. 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 Nilisema nilipoanza I said when I started I didn't come to speak to everybody Sijaja kuzungumza na kila mtu I only came to speak to one person who is going to heaven Nimekuja kuzungumza na mtu mmoja anayeenda mbinguni Just one person Mtu mmoja tu ambaye anasema mimi nataka kwenda mbinguni Ambaye anasema who says I want to go to heaven Maisha yangu yote nataka kwenda mbinguni My whole life I want to go to heaven Njia zangu zote nataka kwenda mbinguni All my ways I want to go to heaven Huyo ndio lilikuwa neno lake Is that person It was not a word for everybody Is sio neno la kwa ajili ya kila mmoja Eh kwa sababu wengine mmeshaamua kwamba nyinyi hapa ndio mmefika Because some of you have decided that this is your destination Wewe hapa ndio umeshafika This is your place. Lakini nataka tuombe maombi haya. But I want us to pray this prayer. Ili tuweke commitment yetu. So that we may have commitment. Ya kumsihi Mungu. 
to beseech the Lord that maybe I forgot about myself. But thank you Holy Spirit for reminding me today. Please help me so that I may go to heaven. I already know what kind of weak things that does not go to heaven. Please help me. I pray that you may help me. There is a way that I didn't read. It speaks about Second Timothy, verse 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 8. It says, He will serve me Mungu with every evil thing. God has promised to save us from evil things so that we may see the eternal life. I want to pray with people who say, I want the kingdom, I want the kingdom, I want to go to heaven. Maybe there are some places that have gone. Asante Yesu umenikumbusha, kumbe hapa siyo kwangu. Thank you Jesus for reminding me that this is not my place. My home is in heaven. My home is heaven. I want to pray with you. Just raise up your hand. Hallelujah. 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 For those who want to go to Hallelujah. heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your blood that cleansed me and forgive me. But oh Lord, in this journey to go to you, there is a place that I forget. I forgot that I am a traveler. But today I come back. I've recognized that I am a traveler. And in this world, in this world, in this world, in this world, Please forgive me. Please have mercy me. Maybe I made some decisions that indicated that this is my destination. But now I've recognized I am of heaven. Please help me. Holy Spirit help me. Remove in me every plant that was not planted by my father every plant that was not planted by my father help save me against every evil word lead me unto eternal life I've given my life to you Jesus by me please lead me I'm praying in the name of Jesus I pray over you Amen put your hands together